Hello, this is David Coyle, and welcome to the next video in our series on aluminum multiplexing. In this short video, we're going to go through how to find and use the barcode generator that we've created. To begin with, we'll open a browser and we'll go to the wiki for our web, which I have bookmarked here, or you can follow the tiny URL on your screen. And here's a description of the barcode generator. Um, note there's also a link here to a list of 24 functional barcodes should you not want to design your own or we can download the barcode generator click on download save the file and we're ready to go so on a Macintosh this is extremely simple we're just going to open this generator in Python and we can access Python through our old friend the terminal. Open the terminal. To do that, we simply type Python, drag in the script, and we're ready to go. First choice is to enter length as an integer. So we want a barcode of, say, 5. Let's say we want 96 barcodes for a full plate experiment. This wants to know the genetic distance between barcodes. We say two is enough usually. Here it asks the desired GC content. And the reason this is here is to prevent a uh, barcode from being generated such as AAAAA. So it doesn't really matter. You can say a minimum of 20 and a, a maximum of 80 is fine. And then finally, it asks you the number of codes to test. Um, if you're generating a lot of barcodes, you want to test more random codes. Uh, the default is, is 10,000. You can go up to a million, no problem. And this tells you that it tested 277 barcodes. It found 96 good barcodes. Here's a description of the base composition. And a file called barcode.txt has been generated. So let's go find that. It automatically puts it into, the, into your user directory right here. Barcode.txt, the very top. We can open it up. And here is a series, not just the barcode, but also the Illumina adapters. Note that these are the Illumina paired end adapters. If you wanted to add barcodes to a different adapter, you would have to modify the Python script, which will be the focus of our next video. But assuming you're using paired end adapters, here are the oligos that you would need to order for 96 barcoded adapter pairs. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video where we learn how to edit the Python script that generated these barcodes.